Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brawl here again. Now, for after doing One Piece, I'm gonna move to my hand, 139, where we're gonna see the where we're seeing the full assault on the hideout of the Yakuza, or at least overhaul hideout. And the title is called Shutter the Underground Labyrinth. It looks like we're gonna see some, like, most of the interns, or at least some of the heroes, make their way down underneath to the underground. Now, let's see how this all goes down, since a whole lot of things went. Down. A whole lot of shit with that. Next mention we are introduced to the eight the fake eight percent of death. I think the Ah name. What were they called again? I really forgot, but here we go. Without further ado, let's get right to it. What the hell's going on here, you bastards? We told you we were already we're con conducting a search. Well I'll say everything's going down down here. <laughs> Sorry for that. The investigation of the eight percents has finally begun. Rescue the hostage girl. So much chaos is going on around here between the heroes and the Yakuza and some of the authorities. So we're barging in with our dirty shoes. Yes, yeah, customary in Japan or at least all the Eastern countries. Take off their shoes when they enter a person's house. Oh, look at that fan art there. There's Izuku, Urara, and Bakugo. The shipping between these two is so hard. But you know, don't simply act on their feelings just yet. Maybe they will in the future? Let's have to wait and see. And look at these guys storming into the room like motherfuckers. Now, meticulous, nothing particularly suspicious so far. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. But how they were here. But now that we're here, there's no turning back. You reached the point of no return there, dudes. If that's the case, then we... If that's the case, wouldn't they be trying something a little smarter? The problem is... By joining the family, you pledge loyalty to those at the top. The manner in which they value the solidarity appears to be the same now as it was long ago. All this fuss, and yet we've yet to see Shisaki or any of the higher ups. I'll bet they're hiding underground and preparing a means of escape. <coughs> the kind of loyalty is that? Having your followers take responsibility for you while you try and run away? They ain't manly at all. Here. Below here, there's a mechanism to open a hidden path. If you press it on the wooden floor following a specific sequence, it'll open. It's like a ninja house. No way we would have discovered it if you hadn't seen it. Let's be aware of the course we get to see as we move on. Bull girl, you. Bastards! Well, three dudes just came up. And you... Leave one up to you. Centipede... Since coil. Oh, okay. His body is a cent... His body is like a centipede, so he moves like a centipede. Or at least his arms are. And our cork is a bubble. Still to manifest bubbles out of her skin. Sorry about this. <coughs> I'm sure he doesn't follow us. My eyes are burnt. Okay, so with you shortly. Self. Okay. Now yeah, moving on downwards. We're almost there. It's a dead end. We took the right path here, didn't we? What's going on, Night Eye? I'll check it out. The million wait, you're you'll turn naked again. Nero's costume is made with special fibers craved from his hair. When he, when he activated his cork, it responds accordingly. The path do, does go exactly as not I saw it. There's just a wall blocking the way. It's a really thick one though. 
Which he's like his ability to disintegrate and reassembling things. He could be something. He could do something like this. How crafty! It's an inspiration to me. Yeah. There ain't anything that's good enough to stop us. One for all, full cow. Shoot style. Wreck out. God. Oh yeah, bust down that wall like bust hanging down that wall. Just like the walls of Jericho. Not bad. We can move. What? The path. Wait, is this Well what's happening there? What the What? What is happening? Is this like the Force of Legend of Zelda where all the Force, like the, where the hallway is twisting or something like that? It's twisting and changing. It's not Chiaki's doing, this is someone else. If I had to guess, it's the general manager, Irinaki. No, Irinaki. But the scale is way too big. The stuff that can, he can enter and control are most the seeds of the size of a refrigerator. But his quirk has been majorly boosted. Majorly boosted. Is that such an impossibility? The quirk that allows him to enter something and freely controlling it is his own body. Mimi cry. He's entered into the con. On the con. He entered the concrete that makes up this underground passage, and turned into a living labyrinth. Looking at his eye out for something he transformed into. But I think it's this underground. Something like this will mean no one to a huge toll on the body. Can you erase it? If I, can, if I can't see the actual body, then I can't. Yeah, well, he can't. If he's able to alter the path however he wants, then there's no way that we can reach our objective. And in this time, the rest of them can prepare whatever ways they need to escape. We need to respond swiftly, but there's no way it's too late. It's time to rescue the girl and too late to and too late for us. Tamaki! It won't turn out that way. Don't forget. You are Sun Eater. Also, this is just a stopgap measure. No matter how the pin um no matter how the how he manipulates the path trying to stop us from gaining our objective. I can still get there. Lemillion Senpai! They understand very well that this is a battle of speed. This is another measure to buy time. I'm going to go ahead. Mirio. Ah, oh, this is so no, this is not, this is no good. What am I doing? Mirio's doing everything he can. Which means that I've got to. He slipped past, huh? There's nothing I can do about it. But even if he was able to reach them, one person won't be able to do anything. Holy crap, the whole... These made a pitfall? The ceiling! Close! The distance is just about one floor. Not far enough to try and make us fall into our deaths. A hallway? We're getting farther and farther away. We're getting farther and farther away. They got us good. Well, uh, look at we have fallen from the skies. A curious, de what a curious development. Oh, here goes three of the eight. It looks like they want an all-out fight. It looks like it's time for us to for us pros to show our true strength. Focus that, focus that strength on that <laughs> As for, as for his attempt to, for them to buy some more time. That's not how it all is, that's not how it is at all. The reason we have to give him my help is because you're here, Tamaki. I can handle it alone. Wait, Tamaki's gonna go against these three guys by himself. No! No. No, no, I cannot believe that Tommy he suddenly erupt. He was gonna take these guys by him by himself. But that's no way that's happening. 
Well, now they finally entered the labyrinth, but things are so getting kind of out of control because they're not fully well they're there, and also dealing with some cores they've never like quite seen before just yet. Or more than I understand how the core works, but one person's ability is to change the shape of a hallway or a certain area. But right now we're just beginning. We're in the beginning. They just entered the labyrinth. We don't know what's gonna happen just yet, and we met three of the eight fake percepts of death. We had the event to meet the real ones. We'll see how Senator does, but against three against one, it sounds like that seems like an unfair advantage. On um, it's an unfair advantage for the other side. But that's until next week's chapter. So until then, leave a like, subscribe, comment below, share with your friend, and I'll see you all next time. Later's.